Production of base oil from fresh crude oil is an energy intensive process. Petrochemical sources in the country are depleting and the increasing cost of crude oil are forcing the manufacturers to find new methods to utilize the available oil resources. In this context, the recycling of lubricants and oil has proven out to be a reasonably viable process that can be used as a base oil for the final product manufacturing. In this video, we will look at an upcoming business opportunity with a huge market potential. Yes, we are talking about the waste oil recycling and the business opportunities related to this sector. Hello and welcome to Enter Climate. My name is Shalin Verma and let's get right into this video. Used lubricating oils are considered hazardous as it has the potential to cause pollution and affect the environment. The contamination from used oil can be in the form of leaks from the engine combustion chambers into crankcase oil, burnt oil and metal particles from the engine wear such as arsenic, lead, nickel and cadmium. Numerous other metals are also present in used oils such as aluminum, copper, iron, magnesium, silicon, and tin. These can be hazardous if disposed improperly. However, used oil is a form of hazardous waste that can be recycled economically. Refining of used oil takes only about one third of the energy of converting fresh crude oil into lubricant. Today, the demand for waste oil recycling is growing because of the growth seen in the sectors with significant bulk consumers such as the automobile sector, industries using machineries, railways, etc. Recycled oil is just as good for vehicles as virgin oil and has an undeniable environmental and economic benefits. Now, let's discuss about the oil recycling businesses. So, these businesses can be of two types, oil collection businesses and oil recycling business. In the first case, waste oil is collected from engines, machines, boilers, etc. through a network of authorized collection centers which separately stores and segregates the oils based on their types and stores them as per the SOPs laid down by the CPCB. Then a sizable batch is sent to the recycling facilities for further treatment. In a waste oil recycling business, used oil is filtered, hydro treated and distilled to remove different contaminants. The resulting product is identical to virgin base oil. There are many turnkey filtration plants available in the market today that can filter the used oil to meet the Indian standards such as the American Petroleum Institutes or API standards. Refining also gives an eco-friendly base oil and generates lower carbon emission as compared to virgin base oil manufacturing. The refining process also leads to the separation of polymer additives, carbon particles, water and metals and the base oil recovered after quality testing can be sold back to the manufacturers. Now, if you are planning to start such a business, you must be aware of the applicable licenses and approvals that will be needed. The major licenses and approvals will include the business registration, pollution NOC from the concerned SPCB, hazardous waste management authorization, factories license, MSME registration and finally EPR registration. Now in this context, let's understand the Extended Producers Responsibility or EPR which is a waste management regime based on the polluter space principle and ensures that the producers are responsible for the whole life cycle of their product including their disposal. Around 70% of the waste oil is recyclable according to some reports and have qualities that make them suitable as a resource material for recovering base components that is base oil, energy materials, metals for the use in secondary projects, production of low grade goods or the recovery of the product itself which can be used as a resource material after processing. Now as EPR registration has been made mandatory for waste oil recycling businesses, let us understand the changes made as per the amendments. The producers, waste oil importers, recyclers and collection agents will now have to register for EPR for waste oil through an online system developed by the Centre Pollution Control Board. The register entities will be issued an EPR registration number and will have to report the production, import and recycling data quarterly and yearly returns as per their responsibilities. Also, a tracking system will ensure the material balance of the oil introduced in the market by the producers during a fiscal year and will be maintained by this system. The following businesses will have to register on the EPR portal. Producers, used oil importers, recyclers and collection agents. 
Any entity that fits into more than one of these categories above must register under each of these categories separately. The rules also define the authority of the CPCB to cancel the entity's registration in case of withholding the information, false reporting of oil production and recycling, and any other information required under the new schedule. In addition to it, the board may also levy environmental compensation if the entity falls short of meeting its EPR targets as defined in the rules. It is now interesting to note that waste oil recycling will be a popular and upcoming business idea for those looking to start a profitable business, keeping in mind the growing trend in the recycling sector. The increasing number of automobiles globally is driving the demand for lubricants. However, for waste oil recycling business to fully benefit from government incentives, they must register for the EPR and fulfill their other legal obligations such as the mandatory license and approvals. Seeking the assistance of industry experts when setting up an oil recycling business will assist the entrepreneur in fulfilling its legalities and meeting the post compliances in time. Enterclimate, with more than 10 years of experience in environmental related industrial compliances, can make your legal obligation process easy and hassle free for your business setup. Contact our experts from the details shown, and if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.